Welcome back to Triple R Reefer. Little blue spot jawfish. Doing blue spot jawfish stuff. I had to take out the corals in these little holes right here because he was digging sand and knocking them over. So he's got himself some, some fresh holes there to do his blue spot jawfish stuff in. All right, enough of that. So this video is going to be over backup battery system. I'll turn this very loud fan off. Uh, backup battery for uh, storms, power outages, whatever it may be. Um, so this one I specifically built for Ecotech pumps, but it can be altered to work pretty much anything. The difference will be, uh, depending on your pump, it will be whether or not you have to manually uh, plug it in to swap over or if it automatically does. Ecotex feature, uh, just an automatic swap over, we'll swap over to battery backup. All right, so let's talk about it. Let me go down here and turn some lights on. Take this filter off. All right, so first of all, um, this is not the final setup. I'm gonna get a battery box for this. Uh, before y'all say anything, I've already got uh, people talking about that. So, um, anyway, uh, first of all, battery. Um, I went with a 12 volt, 105 amp hour battery because I wanted to be able to uh, power my pumps for a long time. Um, I believe, now don't quote me on this one, the ones that come from um, Ecotech, uh, they're, they have a 17 amp hour battery maybe. So, you know, five times plus um, the amp hours. It's 12 volt, so most pumps are gonna run 12 volts. If you're wanting to run a return pump, most of those are gonna be 24 volt. And in that case, you can get uh, a 24 volt battery or you can put, uh, you can wire the pumps in, um, I think it's parallel. God dang, I should know this. Um, in parallel to where you'll double the voltage of 12 volts. So if you have two 12 volts, you'll double up and they'll be 24 volt. Um, I believe in series, you'll actually double the amp hours. So. Anyway, look that up uh, on how to, if you're, if you're just going to buy two 12 volts and it can show you how to wire it to where you double the, the uh, voltage. Um, all right, so this is the one I went with. I think it was $150 maybe on Walmart's website. Um, it's, it's a lead sealed battery, so it's not going to vent. If you're going to buy a vented battery, you need to definitely get it away from your fish tank and probably better to be outside so um, my, my advice would be to get like a UPS style battery backup that you can um, put it put anywhere and it's not going to vent to atmosphere and and risk uh, hurting you or your family or anyone all right so uh, that's the battery I went with pick whichever one you want really doesn't matter just 12 volts uh, if you want to power most pumps and go for the higher amp hours if you want to be able to make it last a long time. Next, you'll need a battery charger. This battery charger is just a little trickle charger that I bought for a four-wheeler. Um, they're very inexpensive. I think Harbor Freight has them for like $20, okay? After that, you'll need a little bit of wiring. Um, this is just normal wire, uh, uh, a hot with a ground. And I don't think it really matters the gauge of wire because uh, well, let me just show you. The gauge wire that comes with the Ecotex is super, super tiny. I mean, look how, I don't know what gauge that would be, but um, so all you'll do is, you know, leave this in, obviously, is what plugs into the, the pump. These are off right now because I've just killed a bunch of Aptasia. But anyway, you'll leave this in and you'll cut the other end. So I cut the other end about right here just in case I needed to wire this onto something else later on. You cut this in and you'll splice it. So now I'm talking about the other end. So this plugs into the pump. Now we're pretending like this is the other end of the wire. You'll cut it, splice it, and then you'll wire it up to some wiring. Now the reason I 
the reason I set to get a little bit bigger wire here is because it's easier to work with when you're wrapping around your your bolt. You'll get a little bit more surface area to make contact with. I don't think that that's absolutely important, but it's it's pretty hard to strip out a little tiny wire uh, and get it to wrap around these terminals. So I wired it to a bigger wire and then wired that to the battery. Not necessary probably, but it's what I did. Um, after that, now you've made your connection from your battery to um, the end of the wire that plugs into your pump. Plug it in, that's it. You're done. Um, your trickle charger will top your battery off as needed. Um, do test it, make sure it works. Um, that's one thing you need to do. Uh, let me think if there's anything I left out. I don't think so. It's very easy. Um, very inexpensive as well. Um, so if you got any questions, you know, feel free to ask. But it's just pretty uh, as simple as it. Oh, one more tip, real quick. If you're wiring it for an Ecotech pump, the positive side is going to be the fuse side. So this wire that comes off of here, uh, when you're wiring this up to the bigger wire below here, you're gonna want to um, make sure that you follow that out and put, and, sorry, and put that on the red wire. Um, otherwise, I don't know if it's gonna come out right. Um, the fuse is for the hot side. Um, I tested it with a voltmeter and I was reading a little over 12 volts, so I knew it was good. Anyway, that's how you build it, very simple. You got any questions though, feel free to ask. I appreciate everyone subscribing. Um, if you would, please do that for me and uh, hit the like button and feel free to drop those comments. Thank y'all.